It's Amnesty International's 50th anniversary, and the organization has just published its annual report reflecting the state of human rights around the world. It shows executions in China and Iran have reached their highest rate in years. From London, Drury Dyke, an expert for Amnesty International on Iran, joins us. What's the main problem with states, including Iran, which systematically violate human rights? How do they respond to your demands? The most important point for implementing human rights standards is the willingness of states to uphold and implement those standards. The question is whether those states genuinely have the will and intention to implement international standards. As for Iran, we have been sending regular letters and reports, but we have never received a reply. They do not like talking to us. What's Amnesty International's assessment regarding the situation of human rights activists, unions and political parties in Iran? Defenders of human rights, including journalists and students, have been facing a severe crackdown since the disputed election two years ago. The level of repression has not eased even up to now. That is why we are currently seeing human rights activists, students and lawyers fleeing the country. Iran has the second highest execution rate in the world. Tehran says they are carried out in accordance with the country's law and in accordance with the Islamic Penal Code. What do you think about this? It might be in accordance with domestic legislation. However, they have an international obligation under international conventions that they are signatory to. They don't even observe their own domestic law when it comes to the execution of juvenile offenders. Another example is legal proceedings for fair trial are constantly ignored and breached. Unfortunately, they do not even comply with their own laws regarding the death penalty. NGOs, including yours, have no executive power, which is arguably problematic. What's your solution for this? For example, what do you expect from more powerful international institutions, such as the UN, to empower organizations like yours? To uphold and promote human rights. We are looking to the people and nations who are struggling for freedom and human rights, rather than elsewhere. If a nation is really trying to abolish the death penalty from within, that country will achieve it sooner or later. Drury Dyke of Amnesty International, thank you for joining us.